Are you interested in saving money but don't know where to start? Do you feel like you're spending too much money and not saving enough? If so, you're in the right place. In this video, you'll learn the top 11 frugal habits recommended by Dave Ramsey, a personal finance expert and New York Times best-selling author. These money-saving tips will help you save thousands of dollars and get your finances under control. So, if you're ready to start living a more frugal lifestyle, watch this video and learn 11 frugal habits that could save you thousands. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Number 1. Buy a modest home you can afford. Downsizing and minimal living is key. Buying a modest home you can afford is the key to saving thousands of dollars. Dave Ramsey, renowned money-saving expert, recommends downsizing and minimal living for those wanting to make the most of their income. Not only will you save on mortgage payments, but also on insurance and upkeep costs. This in turn gives you more freedom to invest or put towards retirement savings. Furthermore, if a financial emergency arises, your expenses may already be low enough that you don't have to worry as much about having enough cash flow. In other words, by purchasing the right-sized home, you can have peace of mind knowing you won't be putting yourself into debt unnecessarily while trying to pay your bills. Number 2. You don't actually need a credit score. The idea of having a credit score is often seen as essential in the financial world. It's assumed that you must have one in order to obtain loans, mortgages, and other major financial products. However, this isn't necessarily true. In fact, it's possible to live without a credit score and still be able to get by financially. First of all, if you don't need any large loans or mortgages, then there is no need for you to worry about your credit score. You can still obtain a checking account and other banking services without worrying about whether or not you will be approved for them. Furthermore, if you are living on a cash-only basis, then this further eliminates the need for a credit score since there would be no loan or mortgage payments to make. In addition, many people believe that they are unable to build up their savings without having access to credit cards or other forms of borrowing. This simply isn't true either. With careful budgeting and discipline, it is entirely possible to save money without using any form of borrowing whatsoever. By eliminating the need for large loans or mortgages and following a strict budget with cash-only purchases, anyone can achieve financial freedom regardless of whether they have a credit score or not. Number 3. Stop buying new cars or skip cars in general. One of Dave Ramsey's best money-saving tips is to stop buying new cars or to skip them altogether. New cars are typically more expensive and depreciate quickly in value, meaning that you're likely to get less for your money. Instead, opt for a used car. You can often find reliable cars for much less than the same model would cost new. Plus, you won't have to worry about taking out a loan and paying interest on it. Another option is to go without a car entirely. If you live in an urban area with public transportation options like buses and subways, this might be a viable option for you. Not having a car saves money in the long run because you don't have to worry about maintenance costs or insurance payments. Even if you do need a car occasionally, there are plenty of rental options that are usually cheaper than owning one outright. No matter which route you choose, make sure it's something that fits into your budget and keeps your financial goals in mind. It may be tempting to buy something flashy or expensive, but it could end up costing you more down the line. Take your time researching the best option for your needs and lifestyle before making any big purchases or commitments. That way, you can save yourself from unnecessary expense and stress in the future. With this advice in mind, it's important to remember that when making purchases of any kind, cash should always be preferred over credit cards as much as possible. Number 4. Pay cash whenever possible and use your credit cards wisely. It's like a game of tug of war, the more cash you spend, the less likely you are to win. The same goes for using credit cards, they can quickly become a tool of financial disaster if used without restraint. To help you stay ahead of your finances and save money, Dave Ramsey recommends employing two strategies. Pay cash whenever possible and use your credit cards wisely. When it comes to paying in cash, it's not necessarily about how much money you have, but rather being mindful and aware of what you're spending. If you pay with cash, you can better recognize when and where your hard-earned money is going. And by cutting out all those extra costs associated with credit card use, such as interest payments or annual fees, you'll be able to keep more of that money in your savings account for when it really counts. On top of that, Ramsey advises users to use their credit cards responsibly. He recommends only charging things that are necessary and within reach financially. This means avoiding unnecessary purchases, making sure the balance is paid off each month on time, and never going over the limit. With these tactics in place, using a credit card can actually help build up one's credit score if you really need it, while also allowing individuals to enjoy some financial flexibility when needed, but only if used properly. With these two strategies firmly in place, paying in cash whenever possible and using credit cards responsibly, individuals can easily start saving hundreds or even thousands each year without feeling deprived or overwhelmed by debt. Now it's time to take things one step further and unsubscribe from emails offering discounts on non-essentials. 
This will prevent unnecessary spending before it even begins. Number 5. Unsubscribe for emails with discount offers. Staying out of the stores and resisting the urge to shop can be really hard, especially when you're bombarded with emails constantly telling you about all the great deals you could be taking advantage of. It's hard to resist, but it's important if you want to save money. Unsubscribing from email lists that offer discounts or sales is a simple way to combat temptation. That way, you won't be so easily swayed into spending your money. It can also help to set a budget for yourself and stick to it. If you have an amount in mind that you plan on spending each month and when that amount has been reached, then don't buy anything else until next month. This will help keep your spending in check, ensuring that only necessary items are purchased with your cash. To further reduce spending, try shopping around for the best deals on any big purchases and take advantage of cashback websites or coupons available online. With just a bit of research and patience, you can often find ways to save money without sacrificing quality. By avoiding impulse purchases, unsubscribing from emails featuring discounts, setting budgets, and shopping around for better deals, frugal habits like these can help save thousands over time. Number 6. Increase your income with side hustles or a new career. The possibilities are endless when it comes to earning extra income. It's almost like you can turn your hobbies into a money-making machine. With the right attitude and a little bit of hustle, you can make thousands of dollars in no time at all. From freelance writing and online tutoring to starting a YouTube channel or selling items on eBay. There's so much potential for extra income. But if you really want to maximize your earnings, you may have to think a little bigger and consider a career change or taking on additional training or education. You don't have to completely overhaul your life, just take small steps towards something new that could potentially bring in more money. Consider taking classes that can help you move up in your current job or look into getting certified in something related to your field. Or if you're ready for something brand new, start researching different career options that offer higher salaries and better benefits. Number 7. Minimize your expenses and start saving money all over. When it comes to saving money, the first step is to minimize your expenses. Cut out unnecessary spending and consider ways you can save money on recurring costs. Consider switching providers for services like cable, internet, and phone if there are cheaper options available. You could also shop around for better auto insurance rates or look into refinancing your mortgage if it could reduce your monthly payments. Finding ways to save money on groceries is another great way to cut down on your budget. Make a grocery list before heading out to the store so you don't buy items you don't need. Look for in-store specials or use coupons if available. Try to buy generic brands when possible and purchase in bulk when it makes sense financially. Number 8. Have an emergency fund. It's important to have an emergency fund in case of a financial crisis. A financial crisis could be anything from medical bills, job loss, car repairs, or any other unexpected expense. Having an emergency fund will help you cover these expenses without having to dip into your regular budget or take on more debt. Having an emergency fund should be a priority when it comes to managing your money. You should start by setting aside some money each month and putting it in a savings account that is separate from your regular checking account. It's best to build up at least three months worth of living expenses in this account so that you can easily access it if needed. By creating an emergency fund, you can protect yourself from the financial burden of unexpected expenses and make sure that your financial future is secure. This way, when something does come up, you won't have to worry about how you're going to pay for it. Instead, you'll already have the funds set aside and ready to go. If you're in a situation where you must use your emergency fund, make sure to fill it up again for the next time. Number 9. Stop eating out and become an amazing chef. Transitioning from the previous section, it's time to discuss the impact of eating out. According to a recent survey, Americans spend an average of $3,000 on meals outside their home every year. That's a lot of money. This can be avoided by cooking your own meals. Not only is it cheaper, but you also have more control over what you eat and can make healthier choices. The first step to becoming an amazing chef is learning how to cook. There are many great cookbooks available both online and in stores, and some recipes don't require much work at all. Additionally, there are lots of websites with hundreds of different recipes, so you should be able to find something that fits your taste and skill level. With a few simple ingredients, you can create delicious meals in no time. Another great way to save money on food costs is to plan ahead for the week or month ahead. That way you know exactly what meals you'll be making and can buy groceries accordingly. You can also use leftovers from one meal and another. It's a great way to save time as well as money. Now that you have the basics down, it's time to start exploring new flavors and dishes. Experimenting with different ingredients will not only help expand your palate, but also give you an opportunity to master specific techniques like sauteing or slow cooking. Gaining these skills will make it easier for you to whip up delicious meals with minimal effort, allowing more time for you to focus on other important things in life. Number 10. Keep your current cell phone and skip the upgrade. The cost of a new phone plus a new plan and accessories can really add up. 
Instead, consider keeping your current phone and just replacing the battery or any other parts that need to be replaced. This will help you save hundreds of dollars over the long run. Another way to save money is by negotiating with your cell phone provider for better deals. Most providers are willing to negotiate with customers who are loyal, so take advantage of that. Talk to them about reducing your monthly bill or getting an extra perk like unlimited data or a free accessory. Many times they will be willing to accommodate you if you're willing to stay with them for a certain period of time. Finally, don't forget to shop around when it comes time for upgrading your phone. Compare plans from different carriers and make sure you get the best deal possible. There are also plenty of online retailers that offer great prices on phones and accessories, so look around before making any commitments. Saving money doesn't have to be difficult. It just takes some planning and research. Finally, number 11. Save, save, save. Make saving a goal, not a wish. Saving money is easier said than done. Many of us have tried only to fall short in our efforts. But with the right attitude and a few key habits, saving money can become second nature. Dave Ramsey's advice on how to save thousands of dollars starts with setting a goal and making it a priority. Start by tracking your income and expenses so you know exactly where your money goes each month. Once you understand where your hard-earned cash is going, create a budget that prioritizes savings over spending. Set aside part of each paycheck for savings, even if it's just 5 or 10%, and make sure you stick to it. Additionally, look for ways to cut back on unnecessary expenses and redirect funds into your savings account. Finally, automate as much of the process as possible. Have funds transferred from checking to savings each month and set up automatic payments for any bills you have in order to avoid late fees or forgetting about them altogether. With these steps in place, saving money will become something you do without thinking about it, allowing you the financial freedom you desire. By following these frugal habits suggested by Dave Ramsey, you could save thousands of dollars a year. Overall, the key takeaway here is to stay disciplined and put saving first. Whether it's skipping that new car or putting aside some money each month into savings, these frugal habits will go a long way towards helping you reach financial freedom. I'm sure if you get creative and think outside the box, you'll find even more ways to save money and reach your goals faster. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, keep learning and growing. See you in the next video.